Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our history and core lesson. Today, we're going to be making um, a really fun thing. We're going to be making a crown. Okay. What I want you to do um, is follow my directions. Please do not cut. Do not cut before you do these steps that, I, that I'm going to ask you to do, okay? Cutting will be last. I'm gonna share my screen. And as we talked last time, we talked about how Rome <clears throat> had seven kings, right? So on this crown, I want you to draw seven circles. One, two, three, four, and then there's this bottom side, five, six, seven. And in here, I'm gonna put king number one. And then over here, I'm gonna put king number two and i'm going to keep on going till i get to seven okay so i want you to go ahead and start doing this right now king number four king number five king number six and king number seven now, I want you put pause if you still need more time. Okay, now that you're done, I want you to decorate this crown with everything that you know about Rome so far. So maybe you could put two babies. Um, what I do for babies is I draw an oval and then I draw a little circle or another oval in the middle and then I can draw two eyes. And that could be a little baby. <laughs> so I'm going to draw two babies. Romulus and Remus. And I'm going to put it up here. Romulus and Remus. I'm going to draw everything that I know about Rome. I know that there's seven hills. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then I know there's the type of river. So I'm going to draw a river. I know that King uh, Romulus was the first king. So um, I am going to put Romulus right here. And I want everyone to know that this is a Roman crown. So I'm gonna put Rome in big letters up here. And depending on what tribe you are, maybe you haven't found out what tribe you are, but if you already know what tribe you are, you can write down your tribe. So let's say I'm part of the Etheruscan tribe. I'm gonna write my Etheruscan. the Ruskin right there. And let's say I know um, Rome is in Italy, so I'm going to kind of draw like a boot and try to draw Italy and it's kicking a soccer ball. So I'm going to draw Italy right there. And then I know that there's the Mediterranean Sea, so I'm going to put MS for Mediterranean Sea, and then I'm gonna put more oceans, more, more waves, and I want you to decorate it. I'm gonna make my crown, um, I, I want it to be golden, because um, Rome was, loved gold, right? And, and the king had to have the best of the best. So my crown is going to be yellow. I'm gonna use my yellow crayon, but um, I want it to be gold, okay? And 
So I'm gonna outline it. I'm not gonna color it all yellow, but I at least want people to know that it is gold. Yeah, okay. And so you draw it like that. And then I talked about the Tiber River, right? Up here. So I'm going to draw that like this. And I'm even going to write Tiber River over here. So that way I know. Tiber River. I can even draw a wolf. That saved the kids. I'm gonna draw my seven mountains back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna make my circles all the same color so that the way they know king number one, king number two, king number three, king number four, five, six and seven okay and um i have a black marker so i'm gonna write all of my letters in black ink so boys and girls how many kings were there seven Make sure your, your writing is very neat. Okay. Romulus. So once I'm done with my crown, and once I'm done coloring everything that I want, um, for example, the boys right here, I'm going to color them like this, and I'm going to grab my pen. Sometimes when you write with marker, it's a little bit bigger, and that's okay. You can write it a little bit bigger, let it dry, and then you can erase the pencil behind it. Okay, um, that's what I want to do. Go ahead and make your crown something unique. Something, everything grown. Okay. And I'm going to color Italy green. Make sure you take your time and make sure you make it neat. Okay, so this is my crown. Now, put pause and finish your crown. Now that you're done with your crown, let's go ahead and cut it. Make sure, let's cut the bottom first. You're gonna cut this line right here. Be careful not to cut uh, below the line because you can cut the other part of the crown. So you're gonna cut it like this. And then you, this is gonna take a lot of work. You're gonna go back and forth. Okay, and back and forth. Okay, you're gonna keep on doing that, back and forth, even with this part. You see that? And go back and forth. Okay. Okay. You'll go like that. There you go. Okay, so that's how your crown should start looking when you're cutting it. And be careful, go very slow because these parts are really tricky. You don't wanna cut off your crown. That would be terrible. But if you do, it's okay. Sometimes our mistakes look, sometimes we can fix our mistakes, right? It's not all lost. Okay. So this is our crown. Just so that I don't uh, spend too much time cutting, um, I am going to um, only cut one side and then I will let you cut the other side. 
Okay. I'm just going to cut the sides that way um, we know what side. And then I can show you. Okay. So let's say you've cut your crown already. It kind of looks like this. You're going to grab one side of your crown. Then you might need, you probably will need your parents' help for this. You'll grab one side of the crown and you'll match it to there. Do you see that, how it matches? You're gonna grab some tape and you're gonna tape it. Or if you have a stapler, you can staple it. Let's see if I have a stapler. I don't see a stapler, but I do have tape. Let me show you what it'll look like with some tape. These are falling. Um, so my tape, I'm all out of my tape. I'm gonna use this other tape, okay? So I will put it here. And on the back side, I'm gonna put this tape. Okay, and it's gonna hold it in place. And then you're gonna grab this other side, boys and girls, and you're going to loop it around and it's gonna make almost like a circle. Okay, and you're gonna put it like this. And then you're gonna get some more tape or you can grab a stapler. A stapler honestly would be a little bit easier. If you have a stapler, you can use it, but I'm sure everybody has tape at their house. You're going to tape it. You will need your parents' help for this little project. And then I have a little crown. Okay. I have a little crown. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see it? There's my crown. King, Queen, Ro Queen of Rome. So um, this is your little project. So go ahead and finish that. Go ahead and finish that. It should look like this. This part is not finished. I did not cut it completely. But it should look like that. Um, if it doesn't fully fit your head, that's okay. It doesn't fully fit my head. I thought it would fit yours, but I might be a little bit wrong. If it doesn't fit your head, it's okay. You can wear it like this, right? And it still works. So that's our project for today, boys and girls. Um, I can't wait to see your crowns and see how they look. Um, please feel free to share them with me when you come in on Friday. God bless you all. Totus, is Maria.